Hey guys, it's me, your girl Tasha, and I am back with a sit down chit chat video. I want to do a sit down chit chat video to just give you guys an update on me and the pregnancy and how it's been going because I've never, I don't think I've did a vlog or a sit down chit chat about my pregnancy since I've been pregnant. I think I just showed the reactions and did the gender reveal and a doctor's appointment, but I don't think I've ever just did a chit chat where I just talked to you guys about how this pregnancy has been going. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm going to just chit chat a little bit with you guys and just let you know how the pregnancy has been going and stages we're at now. Just kind of fill you guys in for the whole gap that you know you guys probably have been left out so i'm going to just fill you guys in try not to make this video long i'm just going to hit some quick points and yeah just let y'all know what's up with me and baby boy so let's get right into the video okay so first i will start off with um shortly after i found out i was pregnant i was in shock I think I kind of am still in shock that I'm actually pregnant, like, with an actual human growing inside of me. Like, <laughs> that's ju that just blows my mind. Like, it's like, wow. You know, you, you want something, you pray about something, then when it really happens, it's like, wow, I'm actually pregnant. Gonna have a baby. Like, but anyway, so... I was in shock, still in a little bit of shock, but it's getting better. Um, just the body changing, and I will start off with the body changing, different things happening, like, for one, my taste, like the taste in my mouth, it's like a taste that you just can't really get rid of. I don't even know how to explain it. To me, it tastes, it's like a taste of when you need to brush your teeth, but I brush my teeth and everything, and it's like the taste will not go away. So that was one thing that stood out to me with changing is my taste. Um, the the Just my normal taste in my mouth. Like, it, it, it's just not, it's just not um, what I would like to have as the taste in my mouth. <laughs> Cause who wants to walk around all the time thinking that your breath stink or something because of the taste and my my mom and stuff told me like she's like that was that's gonna be there throughout your whole pregnancy and that's not gonna change until after you give birth. But I was like, wow, like, yeah, didn't like that. Still don't like it. It's not as bad. It's not as bad now, but it's still there. Um, another thing. Um, let me see cravings for one a lot of people ask me like what do you be craving what are your cravings i have not had any cravings i don't think well no i don't think i've had any cravings there's been certain things that i eat and want at certain times but it's not something i just been like oh my god i gotta have it or waking matt up in the middle of the night having to send him to the store to get like it ain't been nothing like that. Um, I have been wanting hot dog. Well, beef hot dogs is one thing that I've been eating a lot in this pregnancy. Um, what else? Pepsi is a drink that I have been wanting that I never really ever drunk Pepsi. I was more of a Dr. Pepper girl. Never drunk Pepsi, but now Pepsi is oh so good. Like... It, oh my god, get it real cold. Oh my god, it's so amazing. But yeah, Pepsi. Um what else have I been wanting? Um them are the two things. Like every now and then, like sometimes I crave a bacon cheeseburger. Like I just got a real strong taste for a bacon cheeseburger. Stuff like that, like spare the moment cravings but i haven't just had a certain craving that i just wanted all the time um so that's pretty much it the hot dogs pepsi are my two 
things that I said that I can think of that I have wanted a lot in this pregnancy, um, or not even wanted, just when it was around, I ate or drink drunk a lot of it. But um, I have craved the Pepsi though. Oh, the beginning stages, I did crave the beef hot dogs. I did. So I guess I did crave those two things that I did crave. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head stuff that I can bring up you guys, um, give you info on. Um, oh, let me go back up. My first trimester, um, I didn't have morning sickness. I had more of the nausea, like I was nauseated all the time. So um, my um, cousin's, uh, <laughs> my husband's cousin, who had just previously had a baby, had the same issue with nausea. So she told me of some medicine that I could get to take, and I cleared it with my doctor, and she said it was totally fine that I could take that to help with the nausea. So me taking that medicine, it really, really helped. Like, I don't even have nausea um, anymore, unless it's just something I just ate that just did not really agree with me. And then I'd be nauseated, but just to wake up nauseated like I was doing, haven't done that unless I ran out of the medicine and missed it for a day or two and then it comes back but for the most part it has been under control I haven't really had the nausea problem I've probably threw up probably two times in my first trimester excuse me and two times about a week ago and that's because I had ran out of my medicine and hadn't gotten it and then I ate something it didn't agree with me and it came up two times in that one day. So out of the whole time I have um, vomited or threw up four times throughout this whole pregnancy and I am now 20, I think I am 29. Let me just make sure. Today I am 29 weeks and two days. So um i'm almost at the end here um so yeah um i'm thankful for that that i've only had that sickness like that for only um that period of time and that it's under control now with the nausea but the um also i'm thankful that i didn't get have the vomiting thing because i hate vomiting and i've only had to do it four times throughout this pregnancy so i am thankful for that um, what's something else? Um, I haven't really got, I haven't really gotten big. Um, people always tell me I don't look like I'm pregnant. Um, certain things I wear, you can tell if I wear something fitted, you can tell, but my stomach still is not really big, big, just, you know, wow, she's pregnant. Um, it hasn't gotten that big. Um, a lot of people tell me that it's gonna just, I'm gonna wake up one morning, like toward the last month or so, and my stomach just gonna be out there. So, I don't know, I'm waiting to see if that happens, but as of right now, I mean, I'm not really, not really that big. Um, I can show you guys. Um, let me see if I can stand up in front of the camera. Um, hold on, let me adjust the camera so you guys can see. Uh, let me step back. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if y'all can see. And then this is kind of a big shirt, so um, if I put my hand like this, you can see. But, I mean, in person, I really don't look that big. You probably look big on here. But in person, I'm really not, not that big. But um, yeah, so that's about how big I am right now. And um, I'm sorry, yeah, I hit the camera. Try to get it back right. Oh, where my lighting went? Hold on, let me get this back set right. So 
I look dark? Why is it back light? I can't tell. Okay, well, I hope I didn't mess it up too bad. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm not really that big. Um, last month, um, I went and got tested for gestational diabetes and I failed my test, both tests. I took a, two tests. I took a one hour glucose test and then I had to go back because I failed that one and I had to go back and take a second one. Apparently failed that one too. So they, di they diagnosed me with gestational diabetes and I'm like, how in the world? I'm not even that big, but I guess that don't matter. But yes, they diagnosed me with gestational diabetes. So now I have to watch what I eat, um, portion out what I eat. Also, I have to check my glucose levels four times a day. Y'all, when they told me that I failed the test, because I already knew what it meant, what it meant when I failed the test and what I was going to have to do. I'm not going to lie. When they told me I failed the test, y'all, I cried that whole afternoon because I just, I don't know about anybody else, but I do not like to prick my finger. I would get a shot in my arm. I get it in my hip, my butt. Just don't prick my finger. I cannot stand it. And so just the thought of knowing that I was... Okay, y'all, so I don't know where the camera left off at because uh, it started recording, recording because it said my, my card was full. So I had to go switch out my cards. So I'm not sure where it stopped, but I think I was saying that the fact that I knew I was about to have to stick myself four times a day was just like, I just cannot... I'm not going to be able to do that. Not four times a day, every day until I have the baby. And I still got like two months and some weeks or something left. And I'm like, I can't stick myself every day. Like, oh my God. So you guys, it's been, it's been rough for me because um, pricking my fingers is just not something I like to do. I'm not happy about it. I don't like doing it. But I've been trying to do it because I'm trying to do what the doctors tell me to do because I want to have a healthy baby, healthy labor and delivery, and I want to also keep myself healthy. So I've been trying to do it. I've been trying to watch what I eat, portion out what I eat. That's super hard when you're pregnant and sometimes you just, like I said, you crave stuff spontaneously that you want, but then it's something that you don't really need or you can't have because it has too much sugar, too many carbohydrates that will cause your sugar to rise, and it's just like... Oh my God. So I have to check my sugar when I get up in the morning before I eat or drink anything. Then I have to check it two hours after I eat breakfast, two hours after I eat lunch, and two hours after I eat dinner. So four times a day. And I'm telling y'all, every time it's time for me to check it, I be sweating bullets. Like I be literally sweating like my shirts and stuff be just soaked because I'm sweating and it takes me like 30 minutes to prick my finger and it's so quick but I think it's just the anticipation because I have to mash the button for the thing to stick me in the finger and it's just like my finger won't mash it it'd be like it's stuck like push it push it <laughs> but <laughs> I'm getting better I'm getting better so y'all yeah, just pray for me and my fingers because I mean I only got 10 fingers and I got a lot of more days that I got to prick my fingers and I'm running out of fingers already. So, yeah, y'all pray for me and my fingers, please, um, that we make it through this, these two months. And, you know, me and the baby will be healthy and, and good. So, but yeah, you guys, that's pretty much the rundown of what's been going on with me. That's what I'm dealing with right now is the gestational diabetes and trying to, um, watch what I eat, make sure my sugar levels stay where they need to, and yeah, right now we're working on getting the baby room slash guest room together, um, and I will try to do a vlog on that once we get everything situated, everything put together. Also, um, we're getting ready to do a drive up, drop off baby shower. So I would try to get some footage of that, you know, because of COVID and everything. We're trying to be safe and keep me safe and the baby safe. So we're just going to do a drive up, drop off um, 
baby shower at our local park. Um, so yeah, we'll try to get some footage on that. And yeah, I'll try to keep you guys updated and posted from here on out of like vlogs that I may do with like, um, you know, just different things, my night routine, morning routine, you know, what I eat on the daily. You know, I'm going to try my best to give you guys some vlogs on that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's that's about it. That's what's going on with me. That's what's been going on with me since I found out I was pregnant up until this very present moment today where I am 20, I said 29 weeks and two days. So yeah, you guys, that's about it. So please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that like button. That helps me out a lot. Also, please go and subscribe. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go and subscribe. Just hit the red button. There's no cost, no nothing. Just hit the red button, subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that bell notification um, that you, so you won't miss a video when I upload one. And also, comment. Give me any thoughts that you have on this video, any questions you have, any recommendations for kind of content you would like to see. Just, um... Just, yeah, leave me a comment. Just a nice comment just to leave something if you want. But, yeah, just um, comment in the comments, comment box below. And until next time, I'm Tasha. See you soon.